Oh, hello! 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 And welcome to the Fortress of Gaming. I forgot, I forgot the queue, I forgot to uh, speak. Um, uh, this is this is this is Randrew, and you are watching Fortress of Gaming, and this is Dudley Fitty, and that is Brock Lesnar. Now today we're just uploading a request video that um, Soul Patrol 07, one of our biggest fans, get. We like Soul Patrol. We like all our fans. Um, he wants to see Brock Lesnar vs Triple H in a Hell in a Cell match at Wrestlemania I mean the face of Wrestlemania Triple H and Brock Lesnar are but will it be a Hell in a Cell match I mean we saw a Hell in a Cell match last year between the game Triple H and the Undertaker and Shawn Michaels as a special guest referee whether we'll see a Hell in a Cell match this year not sure it will definitely have a unique stipulation they faced last year at SummerSlam. This is not going to just be a straightforward fight. Maybe a, a last man standing match, an I quit match, maybe a Hell in a Cell match, like Soul Patrol says. I don't know. You know what I was just thinking just then? Wrestling is so awesome. I mean, literally anyone who says wrestling is fake, I just, I just want to punch. <laughs> I just, I just want to punch. As always, if you've got any requests just like Soul Patrol did, let us know and the Fortress Gaming team will start off here. It'll probably be me, this is this is Randrew who's talking here. This follow me on Twitter, this is uh, this is Randrew, uh, like us on Facebook, la 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 and subscribe to us on YouTube and stuff. If if you wanna. No, no do, just do it anyway. No, just just do it anyway. Awesome entrance that is. Possibly one of the best entrances of all time. It's just so cool. You know what I was, about, I was thinking of doing as well? How about... For, you know, some videos on Fortress Gaming, some wrestling WWE 13 videos, how about we disable the crappy commentary on this game, Michael Cole and Jerry Lala, and get some good commentary. Yeah, we're gonna get Jim Ross, good old JR, to come and sit with us on Fortress Gaming and do the commentary for us. I've contacted him, and he says he would be interested. Um, so it's just a case of of um, sorting someone out, really. You know what, I, I want to keep on talking for a bit, I'm playing as Triple H, uh, just because just I can really keep on talking, because I have, I have the ability to talk for you, to you through this microphone and play a game at the same time. I'm not quite sure about this WrestleMania, uh, ple please, we want to know your thoughts though YouTube, what are your thoughts about this year's WrestleMania, as compared to last year's WrestleMania. I mean, so far, I'm not entirely sure about the card. It could, the card could have been better, but I'm not too sure. John Cena vs. The Rock, I mean, I'm not a big Cena fan. I think he sucks, but if you like Cena, that's, that's fine. Uh, I don't think he's a great wrestler, uh, but The Rock vs. John Cena, I think it would be alright having a second a second match of that, I suppose. CM Punk vs. Taker is going to be awesome, hopefully. Triple H vs. Brock Lesnar is going to be good. Uh, stuff where the card for me starts falling a bit is when you get to Alberto vs. Uh, Jack Swagger. I like the concept of the storyline. You know, Mexican vs. American, like, conservative guy, whatever. But the thing is, Jack Swagger, he, that's why he has to have that Zeb Coulter guy always good. Because Jack Swagger, he has no fucking charisma. I mean, Jack Swagger, he has to have someone to talk to him, talk for him. Paul Heyman, CM Punk doesn't need Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman's just there because he makes it even more fucking awesome. But Jack Swagger about Zeb Coulter, I mean, Coulter, I don't know what his second name is. I just call him Zeb. <laughs> Zeb. Um, without him, Jack Swagger's just off. Oh crap. I hate when that happens. They should just like, watch wirelessly through the air. It's an electricity through the air. Yeah, and they got a bird here. I mean, he's good, but I'm not quite sure what he would title match. I wanted to see Randy Orton versus Sheamus. What, what was we were thinking of seeing? 
Oh, I want to see a heel Randy Orton make a return. I mean, I hate babyface Randy Orton because I just think Randy Orton, he, he, and he has been so good over the years. Oh, what a, again? Over the years. And get the moment, his current situation is, let's be honest, it's, it's pretty shit to be honest. He should be at the very top along with CM Punk and John Cena and people like that, but he's not. So I think Randy Orton versus Sheamus it would have been it would have been an epic match because we may also see uh, Ryback versus Mark Henry, which will, which will be a good match. Uh, I'm not quite sure it'll be good, but I think Ryback should really be fair from the card because after all the matches he's been having, like you know, the last couple of months and stuff, he should really be facing the Shield. But uh, on SES scoops, sports entertainment scoops, uh, they're reckoning. That is going to be the Shield versus the team of Randy Orton, Sheamus, and the Big Show. Now, I personally think if that happens, it will just be fucking awful. I mean, first of all, we've had this kind of six-man tag thing happen twice now, and I don't think we need to repeat it. Just some kind of super team team up again and face the Shield. It's just not going to work. Randy Orton, Sheamus, and the Big Show this time. Okay, so we've we've had we've had the team of Ryback, Sheamus, and John Cena didn't win. We've had the team of Ryback, Chris Jericho, and Sheamus, and they didn't win. So now it's Big Show, Randy Orton, Sheamus. No Ryback, who who has who has like the most, you know, most frustration to have at the Shield for all they've done to him. But so I don't really agree with that. I don't free if that happens at WrestleMania, I won't. I think it will suck. I mean, just. Basically, they've got Big Show, Sheamus, and Randy Orton. I need to put them in a match, so let's put them against the Shield, and it'll be a big match. No, put Randy Orton versus Sheamus in a match together. Winner gets a number one contender shot at the World Heavyweight Title. Extreme Rules. That, that is big. And then Big Show. I don't know. Maybe uh, Big Show versus Ryback instead of Mark Henry versus Ryback. Great match. See, see, don't we? If you want any ideas. Just uh, give me a bell and um, we'll sort of stuff for you. Anyway, I think I'm going to shut up now and um, just play the rest of the match so you can watch it. you got any requests, just let us know. Anything you like, anything. And also, we always want to know your opinions because we're going to start uh, some a weekly wrestling news show and a gaming news show uh, very soon. So we want to know your opinions and your thoughts. Get back, you know, and we can feed that into the show and make... Just, just make the wrestling one awesome, like it already is. Okay, well, enjoy. This match has been 100 miles an hour since the opening. Hey, Triple H, and the game hits the Spinebuster. Into the cover, hits the leg, and Lesnar powers out. What a match. Looks like he's having trouble staying in the ring. Man, this is one of those matches you just like to sit back and got him up. What power to get him into that torture rack. Nice dodge there. out of it. He breaks the hold. These guys are giving it up. Oh, what a collision into that steel. Look how devastating is this sinister environment. And that could bust you open. Triple H playing the game to perfection. 
Some precision strikes being delivered here by Triple H. With the arm. This is bad. Countered by the game. And he escapes the hole. What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put each other through. The oh, this isn't right. But it's legal, King. It's all legal. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean I have to like it. A big power bomb. Brock looks like he's starting to slow down. Oh, what a collision into that steel. Oh, set back into the steel. Triple H is a guaranteed Hall of Famer, but he's not thinking about what he's done in the past. He's only focused on the present and winning. And that's what the game does best. Uh, hey, wow, he was just about to get his head taken off. Watch out. Ooh, head first into the chair. Oh, man. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. Got another chair shot. Driving that chair into him again. So much for a safe work environment. Once again with the chair. A hard knockdown. And Triple H might not know where he is. Triple H in trouble. Once again, using that post like a rammed face first into the steel post. Yeah, I wouldn't be at all surprised if that nose just shattered. Oh, man. Man, did he teed right on his face. Triple H is chipping away. He's firing now. And Triple H is feeding up the energy in this arena. Not this. He's looking at it. The game is so good at isolating and exploding. What a deadly submission hold this is. We might see a tap out right here. Wait a minute. Refusing to get in there. What sheer determination. He's got that leg lock completely cinched in. Whoa! And he fights his way out. And he gets out of the way. Oh, the punch connects. Here comes some offense from Triple H. Talk about a devastating maneuver. Oh, did you see that knee? A sharp kick. Triple H just teed off, and down he goes. Beautiful counter for Brock Lesnar there. Oh my, there's the submission hold. He's in the driver's seat now. Watch it, and he powers out. the clothesline. Oh, that was a serious shot there. Oh, my, an explosive suplex. Triple H is chipping away. What a vicious chop. We may have to tap out right here. his way out you have to respect the confidence and poise triple h is showing he just planted it with a ddt oh he's on the move again uh-oh look where he's going again and that could bust you open and the knuckles connect of crazy stuff under the ring and all of it can inflict a lot of damage on an opponent what a haymaker a huge right hand oh how many shots can you take against this twisted metal every shot to the cage takes its toll we've seen time and again where competitors are changed after encountering this type of environment triple h one step ahead he's got a chair 
Sheamus with that steel chair. Well, the situation of this match continues to get scarier, Michael. Would you look at this? You know, they're here. Oh, my gosh, he stopped it. Man, at the bottom of the guard, what a chair shot. The game's in trouble. Squeezing down on the head. That suplex was picture perfect. Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing here? He's spending more time outside the ring than in it. Oh, and Triple H saw it coming. He's in big trouble. Looks like he's having trouble staying in the ring. And did you hear the impact on that kick? And again, the opponent said flying. Oh, what a collision into that steel. Lesnar looking down at his opponent. Oh, my God! Unbelievable! The cell wall broke right down. Now, this is scary, Michael. Out here, there's no telling what's going to happen now. Intercepted. Oh, come on now. That was just uncalled for. Wait a minute. They're actually outside Hell in the Cell, climbing the walls of it. Woo, a little showboating going on here. And now his opponent is going up after him. has taken so much out of this guy he's not going to give up but man this has been physical uh oh Triple H has him oh what a pedigree that's it What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. The game's got it. There's a good reason that's called a backbreaker. It can snap your spine. Here comes some offense from Triple H. He's setting up. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still don't see him giving up. One of the reasons Triple H is so dangerous is that he's so smart. Triple H set it up. Textbook suplex. Very, very painful hold here. What's he going to do? Watch it. What strength. Fighting his way out. Lesnar had that. We got a cover. Two. No. Only a two count for Triple H. And he lights up his chest with a chop. And the game gets taken down. Oh, he's on the move again. Now back under the ring, looking for another object of some sort. Watch it! Oh, stopped at the last second. Oh, my God, what a sickening impact from that sledgehammer. Somebody's got to take that thing away from him. If you want to try, be my guest. He's putting those edges... Triple H. Pedigree, Triple H 
scores it again. Hey, what's he going to do with that? You don't think. His shoulders are down. Two. Two. Three. Three. And Triple H wins. All those WWE competitors tore this arena apart. Let's take a look back on some of the incredible highlights. Oh,